Hi, welcome to Petro Proficient. This video discusses about the use of carbon dioxide for enhanced oil recovery. Thank you for watching the video. We are committed to bring forth more videos to enrich your knowledge. Please support us by subscribing to the channel and benefit from the videos. Don't forget to press the bell icon to get notified about a new video. Thank you. The world population is growing, and by the end of the century, the world population is likely to be around 11 billion. The growing population also leads to higher demand and usage of energy, that is electricity, gasoline and natural gas for cooking, or heating. This puts us in a challenging situation, how can we meet the growing demand while reducing the carbon dioxide emissions? Everything around us needs energy generated from petroleum products. The transportation industry is one of the leading source of carbon dioxide emissions, a greenhouse gas released into the atmosphere which is leading to the global warming. Heavy industries manufacturing cement, chemicals, and mining, also contribute significantly to carbon dioxide emissions. The world is moving towards solar and wind as renewable source of energy. But that is not going to solve the problem. Recognizing this fact that we are still likely to use petroleum products to meet the growing demand for energy. An agreement was signed by several countries in Paris that sets a framework to limit the emissions, and for the removal of carbon dioxide from the atmosphere. This presents a perfect opportunity for the oil and gas industry as the captured carbon dioxide can be stored underground, and also for enhanced oil recovery. One of the main enhanced oil recovery process involves the injection of captured CO2 into reservoirs. There are two main reasons for using CO2 as an enhanced oil recovery fluid. One is that it is miscible with the reservoir oil, and second, it is less expensive than fluids of similar characteristics. When CO2 is injected in an oil reservoir, it becomes mutually soluble with the oil. This occurs most readily when CO2 is compressed and the density of CO2 increases due to compression, and, when the oil contains a significant volume of light hydrocarbons. If reservoir pressure is below a certain value, CO2 will no longer be miscible with the oil. For this reason, pressure of a depleted reservoir must be considered when evaluating its suitability for CO2 injection. When the injected CO2 and residual oil are miscible, the physical forces holding the two phases apart, that is, interfacial tension effectively disappears. This enables the CO2 to displace the oil from the rock pores, pushing it towards a producing well. As CO2 dissolves in the oil it reduces its viscosity, that also helps to improve the efficiency of the displacement process. CO2 floods often involve the injection of volumes of CO2 alternated with volumes of water, this is called water alternating gas, or, WAG floods. This approach helps to mitigate the tendency of the lower viscosity CO2 to finger ahead of the displaced oil. The produced fluids are separated which may include amounts of CO2 as the injected gas begins to break through at producing well locations. Any produced CO2 is separated from the produced natural gas, and recompressed for reinjection along with additional volumes of newly purchased CO2. While CO2 enhanced oil recovery has demonstrated significant success over nearly four decades, significant potential remains for additional growth in production from this process. 
This potential is further enhanced by the possibility of using captured CO2 from the atmosphere in fields that are good candidates for CO2 EOR. Enhanced oil recovery with CO2 has increased recovery from some oil reservoirs by an additional 4 to 15 percentage points, over primary and secondary recovery efforts. Thank you for watching the video. We are committed to bring forth more videos to enrich your knowledge. Please support us by subscribing to the channel and benefit from the videos. Don't forget to press the bell icon to get notified about a new video. Thank you.